Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can enable remote access to your PHP MyAdmin installation um, on Bitnami LAMP um, servers where it's usually deactivated by default. And what I mean is the following. Let's say you have your new instance running. It's a LAMP server Linux Apache MySQL PHP provided by Bitnami pre-configured stack and usually the PHP MyAdmin folder where you can manage your MySQL database is not accessible via the regular internet so it's only um, accessible from the very host from the local host so you would need to set up an SSH tunnel every time you want to access that folder which is good for um, productive systems but in case you're just doing some testing fiddling around developing I don't know I find it quite annoying to always set up an SSH tunnel so I'm going to show you how to um, change that and it's pretty straightforward we just need to change settings in one conf file if you have the bitnami installation it's usually in this folder of bitnami apache conf bitnami php myadmin.conf and we have to make some adjustments there and then restart Apache and then that's it. So let's open our command prompt. Let's SSH on our machine. So we are now logged in and let's um, change that very file I was talking about. We have to sudo uh, because it's not in a folder that we can change uh, without um, sudo writes. So it's bitnami and then Apache, um, I think it was conf, bitnami, and then php, myadmin, dot. All right, and this is the file. And you can see here, it. Um, we have some uh, directives here that will say require local, which means only the local um, host is allowed. And then this error document, and we can, basically com um, uh, deactivate those commands and change this from local to all granted. Sorry, sorry, granted. And there's one more thing. Um, you might want to change that alias um, to something else than PHP my admin because I mean, it is true that, you know, like some bots or script kitties who will scan your servers, maybe just check if there is a uh, PHP my admin folder on your machine and then try to do some shit. So if you just maybe change that to some, I don't know, random name that it's not as easy to guess. So I don't know, you can just type in something, the numbers and whatever. And you know, but of course you have to remember then this folder. So I'm gonna copy it, right? Um, okay. All right. So that's basically it. Um, you should um, save that file. We're going to save all that file and and not forget to copy <laughs> that name because I will have to trouble to put it in um, the browser then and go back. And now we have to um, restart uh, the machine and um, this is usually in the op bitnami control script restart and there you go this will take some time so i'm going to pause and come back when it's done all right we're done we can head over to our browser and if you now would try to access php my admin folder we will get an error because this folder will not exist we created an alias and i changed it to this it's not as easy guessable and you can see voila uh, you can now log in into your php my admin backend and administer your uh, database so that's it folks now have fun and see you